Hello everybody, uh, my name is Kawhi Hopkins and I'm just here to bring you uh, an Okta demo as I am going to pursue and write my Okta administrator, certified administrator exam. And one of the requirements on this exam is to learn, know how to uh, integrate Active Directory source or LDAP source users. Um, or directory source user, if you want to say. Um, so I'm here to bring you a demo of how to integrate in integrate Active Directory with an Okta by downloading an uh, Okta, uh, Okta agent. So let's get started. So as we're here in the Okta admin console here, you first want to download the agent. And let's go to directory integrations. So we're going to go to directory integrations. I mean, uh, move this out the way here. All right. So let's go to director integration. So here you have three choice different type of integrations after you have after directory LDAP and LDAP interface. So today we're going to do add Active Directory. So right now, as you're looking, we are in a Windows Server 2022 uh, VM. This is where, where I will be downloading the agent and using and using and provisioning users from Active Directory into Okta. Um, so let me get started here. So let's click on Add in Active Directory. So here you see the install lightweight agent to integrate with Active Directory. So this is kind of the architecture. So if you see the, what we're going to be downloading is the Okta agent, which works, which kind of establishes the works in between these two, between the Okta tenant and your admin domain controller. And this 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 agent is going to pretty much work as a a user in your Active Directory, which will which will bring users from your after domain after directory domain controller into Okta. So these are some of the requirements that you must have. So you have to install Windows Server 2012 or later. Um, you need access to Windows Server to install Okta at directory agent. You don't need to install the, the you don't need to do install the domain controller um, the agent on the domain controller, but in this demo we will be. Um, so and this is very important. A member must be a member of a of your Active Directory domain, meaning the agent, your agent's host server must be a member of the same Windows domain as your Active Directory source users. And consider, um, you know, consider the agent part of your inf IT infrastructure, as I said here. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to setup. All right, so we're going to download the agent. And while that's downloading, this is the instructions that these are the install uh, instructions that you're going to do on your host machine, the information. So let's go locate this agent. So what we're going to do is, so some second, waiting for this agent installer to update this page let me see all right let me see I'll download this this page here and what we're going to do is Go into the instructions here. You'll pull up, you'll get this wizard that will pull up. So this is the current version of the Okta AD agent. And so you're gonna go click next. So this is typically normal, like a regular, you're downloading a regular software to any computer or host, host device. Um, so you wanna click on install. So, and before we do that, let's let me show you what I have here in Active Directory. Um, let's see here. Go into 
here and let's go into administrative tools as I, again I've I have already done the installing the active directory so if you want to learn how to you should, well as a, I, I am engineer administrator um, you should know how to how a active directory works and install active directory but as a I am engineer you will not would not be doing this but this is just for demo purposes so I've created some users already um, and some users in here a few users so let's get started continue on so we want to click next all right so this is the domain this is domain that I've chosen home.local it could be facebook.com google.com um, you know instagram or dot com or however you whatever your domain is all right so keep in mind before we get before we proceed let's let me make sure you understand this right here where in the instructions in the basic setting where we where we saw where we saw where it the, the active agent must be a member of the domain in the in the setup instructions in the in the beginning what that means is what we're, what that means is we're going to create we're going to create a user with this naming convention so what we're going to do is we're going to add new we're going to user and what we're going to do is going to be it's going to be Okta and service it's the service and then it's going to be as you see it right here it's going to be just as you see it right here so it's going to be oh, going to be I don't mean to put the dot com as is it's going to be Okta service so again once we click next give it a password because this will be important later as what's going to happen is is this we're going to use this account to connect to, o to Okta to Okta so once we click next and finish all right let's go out and let's go back in here again and I want you to see something here all right oh, let's see here all right so as you can see here this is the Okta service this will act as kind of a a recruiter in a sense gonna go and recruit the users and bring them over to Okta uh, so let's click on next all right let's move on so when you click next so what we're going to do is put in the password that we had when we create the user all right all right so it's asked us do we use a proxy server nope we're not going to be using a proxy server so we're so our enter our organization URL so this will be found here and the instructions here so we're going to copy and paste the org URL the org URL all right so what this is going to do is this code here you're seeing so once we click on this it's going to direct us to Okta to prompt us to use our admin this our admin credentials to be able to give it permissions to talk to Okta Okta so let's go ahead and click here activation code all right next okay so this part is going to ask us hey do you would you allow the us Okta agent to access the actions above so click yes all right all right so that has been 
so that has been done all right so installation is complete finish all right so active directory it says got started so we're going to click next so once you go here we're going into we're going here into the basic settings where it's not done yet so we're going to go to where it says here we're going to bring over all the OUs and groups from after directory so we could just simply say hey we want to import all the users but which is only going to bring over all the users from Active Directory, but not in this case. We want to bring over all the OUs and everything within it. So, and then if you scroll down, if you look down here, the username format, this is basically saying how are these user users going to log in. So, in Active Directory, we have our user principal name, we have our SAM account name or email address. We could use email address, but let users may not have that email address in Active Directory. Um, so we use our service principal name, which is pretty much your username and your domain. So if we if we go back to Octa, I mean I'm sorry, not Octa, Active Directory users and computers. Let's click on a user, let's click on Kelly Chambers. So you looked under accounts, user logon. This is basically makes up your, this is your user principal name, your Kate Chambers, and your domain. So cancel, and we'll log out of there. So this is basically, again, this is saying, how do we want our, how will the users be logging into Okta? So we want to click next. So the agent directory is, is configured. Click next. All right, so next we're going to go to the set up the build a the user profile. So the build a user profile, this is basically stating, showing the attributes that will be brought over that Active Directory will be bringing to Okta. So Okta will automatically will map these for will only map these for you. So we can we can choose to not bring some attributes over we can decide or we can we can bring attributes over um this attributes are really going to be important later because when we when we do any type of automation um like say group membership usually typically it will be by the user's profile attribute so in this case if you can see what it's bringing over is the country code obviously the um you have physical delivery, the department, the part number, description, and later on, we'll, we'll once you get to the automation part, we will we will use this department attribute. It's very going to be very important. So we're we're going to keep the vision, employee number. What else can we bring over? Um, we're gonna leave everything the way that it is. Has everything what I want. But again, if if anything, if anybody's took in the Octa Professional certification, these are these like I said, these are the typical these are the required schema that's going to be brought over. But you can pick and choose which what you want and what you want to bring over. So we're just going to leave everything default. So we're going to scroll down. Uh, I I, did I have to do that? No. Okay. So we're gonna go next. All right, so the agent setup is done. Your Active Directory domain is now integrated with Okta. Now I can, now at this stage, I can sync your, my AD, AD users to Okta and, and I can start importing them over. So, but keep in mind in a real production, you're gonna want to install multiple agents as a, DR recover disaster recovery type deal. If some, an agent goes down, you have another agent running. Um, but in this case, it's just demo. This is just I just want to just want you guys to understand how this works. And again, in the 